now for the most famous words in motorsport. Drivers, start your engine! Looking down to the line, green flag goes in the air. Two by two is a hit off into turn number one, and already they're getting racy just past the start finish line. He's going to try to pull the fly jump! He can't get there! They touch! This is Kale Norton Jr. And this is Ricky Bobby. You're watching Flying Aces YouTube channel. Welcome back to, uh, I'm going to do another paint tutorial. I did one recently that I was not able to completely finish. Um, so I'm going to do a a complete follow-up video to uh, how to how to use spec layers uh, with, with iRacing and paint the race cars. And uh, do a quick, quick, as quick as possible tutorial from start to finish. So... Uh, that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. First and foremost, I use a program, a free program called uh, Paint.net. That's uh, free to anybody. Uh, unlike Photoshop, it's not quite as good as Photoshop, I'm sure, and actually not as good as GIMP either. But uh, it has everything you need, and it's pretty, pretty easy. A uh, small learning curve how to use Paint.net. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Let me flip my screen here all right first thing you want to do you go to Google you're going to type in the program paint.net download it's going to bring you up here go to the first link all right let's go down here uh, you can you can buy the Windows 10 version you can buy that uh, it's unnecessary or you can go here for the free version they're identical exact same features everything uh, this is just you can pick it up through the Microsoft Store, or here you can download it straight from .pdn whatnot. Anyway, download that and install it like you would any other uh, program on your computer. Now the thing with Paint.net is it's not Photoshop, as I've mentioned. Uh, these iRacing templates to paint are PSD files, so you will need a PSD plugin for paint.net again go back to google go up here in your search bar type in psd paint.net plugin go to the first one first link right there you go all right I'll, I'll go ahead and download it and i'll show you where to put it all right we'll go down here we're going to open this up we'll show it in the folder Right there it is. It is a compressed uh, zipped file, so you want to unzip, extract it. Let me pull this over. You'll extract it into your down, wherever you want to extract it to. Just hit extract, and it'll open up this. The only thing you need is this Photoshop.dll. So you're going to cut it. All right, and you will go into your program files. Go into your program files. You'll find that on your hard drive. Program files, and here is where paint.net installed. You'll open up paint.net, you'll go up to file types, and you'll right click and just hit paste. And as you can see, I've already got it in here, so I'm not going to do that again. But you paste that into your paint.net file types folder. Okay, so we can get rid of that. So now we have we have paint.net installed on our computer. We have the PSD plugin installed into paint.net file types folder we're ready to start painting all right um, we're going to paint a a truck today all right so and you can actually paint any car you don't own but i do own the truck so we're going to paint it and uh you pull this here up under i always go to test to bring up the car you can search all the cars you own and whatnot but uh, i'm going to stick with the uh the truck here and uh, choose your racetrack and whatever and but anyway you go to the paint link right here this is where you get your templates from to paint okay as I mentioned a minute ago you can paint any template you want you don't have to own them but here's every car on iRacing but uh, we will not do that in fact we're just going to go ahead and download this car template for this truck all right you'll see here at the bottom at least on Google Chrome, that's where it downloads to. I'll show in the folder, and here's the template. 
Again, it is a compressed zip file. Extract it. And this is what pops up. We'll extract it to right here. There, there's your file you need. So what I typically do is take that. I will cut it. And then I'm going to, on my PC, the way I paint is I have, I have um, a couple of folders. I have iRacing Paint folder. And I have a template folder inside of that. And then I have a trucks folder inside of that. And I've already got it here under the Tundra. So here's where I would paste it. I would paste that into that. And uh, it's actually that file right there. So you'll be able to find it. Okay, so now we've got the template downloaded to our computer. We have paint.net downloaded to our computer. And we have the PSD file plugin. The Photoshop plugin. Alright, so now let's start painting. We're going to open up paint.net. We're going to go find our template to paint. We'll open up up here at the top. I'm going to go back and locate it in my iRacing folder. We'll go to templates. You can name this anything you want. This is how I organize it. This is under the Tundra. And we're going to just... Um, that's the file we downloaded right there. And that's what's going to pop up. Okay. What's new to iRacing over the past uh, six weeks or so has been the, the speculators. That's giving a lot of people problems. But uh, we're going to address that. First and foremost, you got to realize you're painting two different files. You're painting... You're painting a your car, and then when you're done with that, you're going to put a, a layer over the top of it called a spec layer. We'll get to that at the end. All right. Uh, I'm going. I typically delete everything I don't need. You can leave it. It's entirely up to you. But uh, I typically I like to work in as uh, less clutter as possible. I'm not going to use any of the iRacing templates, so I've deleted all of them. Uh, so now I'm just down to the base. This blue color is, is the base file with nothing on top of it. I'm going to scroll up to the top. Up here is is the from the alpha channel up is your spec layer. You don't need that layer group. You don't need that one. You do want to keep the parts. You don't need that base layer. You don't need that. You don't need that. You do need that part. You need to keep this base because that's going to be our layer that we're going to work on later. You do not need that. It says you don't need the blue channel or the alpha channel. I don't use them, but I'll leave them on there because I don't know what they do. You don't need that. You don't need a copyright. Uh, let's see what else. This you don't need, and that you don't need. And I think everything else is what we need here. Okay, good. Outstanding. I'm going to paint something very simple. We're going to put a little piece of chrome on this truck, and we're going to put a piece of matte, flat matte uh, paint on this truck as well. Okay? Here's our base layer. First thing I always do is turn on the wiring. Okay? Then I turn on where the numbers are. You see that in the green? Uh, they give you uh, some suggestions where your sponsors go, but I always... I never stay within those boxes. Anyway, this is going to be an ugly truck when we're done with it. It's not supposed to be pretty, just showing you how to use the spec layer. But first, you need to paint what you want your car or truck to look like. All right, so what I typically do, I always work in layers. And it's very important you work in layers, especially once you get to that spec map. So well, I'll come here, and I'll come right here and add a new layer. Okay, so you see layer 22 I'm just going to call this my stripes. I'm going to paint a couple of stripes on the truck. All right, that's my stripes, and it's on top of the base layer. So if you notice, I have stripes. Oops, sorry. I have stripes selected. Okay. Um, again, it's on top of the base layer. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to, I'm going to. Right here is where you would add a straight line. This is going to be a straight line. And I'm going to come right here and uh, just put a straight line out to here. Okay. And you can hit control. And on your mouse, you can 
scroll up and that zooms in. I'm going to draw another line right here. Okay. All right, outstanding. Um, and I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint these lines red. I'm going to paint them a red color. So again, I'm highlighting my stripes. I'm working with the stripes layer. I turned that red. Okay. All right, and I'm going to make this inside this box here my chrome layer. You know, that's my end goal. I want inside of this red box chrome. At the end of this paint, I want that being chrome. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what. Uh, let's see. And we're going to make our hood. Let's see, do we want to go hood? No, I'm going to put a logo there so we won't mess with the hood. I'll make that chrome as well. So what I'll do is I'm going to come up here, draw another line. Um, I'm just going to draw a big box on my hood. It's not going to be very symmetrical. It's not designed to look pretty, but it's going to give you an idea of how to paint chrome spec, spec layers. All right. Here's my lines again. And again, I've worked all of that in the stripes. That layer I created is stripes. Now, if I cut off my wiring, you can see it much better. All right, so that I painted basically a couple little boxes here. A couple little boxes. All right, let me go back out here real quick. I think I have my live stream running in the background. I do. I need to cut that off. Okay, let me pull this back up. There we go. Okay, so inside of these red boxes is going to be chrome okay so keep that in mind now let's go uh, let's create another box and I'm going to make matte a matte finish okay let me cut on my wiring to see the contours of the car I'm going to scroll in a little bit and I'm going to this green line or these, these this green is is the part of the truck that shows anything like right in here doesn't show okay so only inside the green but I'm gonna make uh, this red line over to here I'm gonna create another box down to here and just right here so inside of this box is gonna be a matte finish okay so my end product, my end product, I want to, at the end, this is going to be chrome, and this is going to be matte, and my hood's going to have some chrome. I'm going to put a decal on top of that and show you how to make that look good, too. Okay, so the only layer I've worked with has been the stripes. Now, um, I, want, I wanted a really shiny chrome, all right? So if I, if I painted, if I painted what I wanted chrome say a dark green it's still going to be a chrome finished green but I really want that reflective really reflective chrome okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to start back down here at my base and underneath my stripes layer I'm going to put another layer that I'm going to title chrome we're going to title that chrome okay and I'm going to use a white paint because that is the most reflective and looks really good uh, when you put the chrome layer over it. All right, if I want the true chrome look, I'm going to paint every, everything inside of this box white because that's eventually going to become chrome. Okay, so I'm working under my stripes. Okay. And I'm creating this white section of the truck that's going to become chrome. All right, I can actually just box this in. And save a lot of time but uh, I'm gonna grab my paintbrush I'm gonna set on about a 50 point font and I'm just gonna just gonna paint all this as long as I let's say you're painting and you accidentally go too far out you notice I'm underneath this red line okay because this chrome layer is below my stripes layer so I painted underneath that of course, that was that was a mistake, and I don't want to do that, so I just hit undo. But as long as you stay underneath your stripes, you're okay, or, or whatever layer you're working in. I'm I'm doing this tutorial assuming you have a decent idea 
of how to paint. Okay. Uh, if you do want to know how to paint a uh, iRacing car, I do have another video I made a couple of years ago on how to uh, just straight up paint. This is before the spec layers became a thing. So this is the purpose of this video. All right. So that's going to be Chrome in the end product. And uh, so I've still got this box up here that I want to be a matte finish. So uh, above my Chrome, or at least underneath my stripes, I should say, I'm going to create another layer, and I'm going to call this matte finish. Matte finish. Okay. I think black looks really good as a matte finish. Okay, so I'm going to come here, and I'm going to... Oh, that's too big, sorry. Let me make that smaller line. Let's go 10 point font. And I'm going to color this box black. I'm just basically, I could use my paintbrush. I could have filled it in any way I wanted to, but I'm just uh, drawing lines. For me, that seems to be a little bit quicker. I'm going to connect these and then use my paint bucket. And there we go. I filled in that entire. Now, let's take off our wiring, and you can see here's what the truck's going to look like. Okay, that's going to be matte, and that's going to be chrome. Let's go back up here and fill in our hood box. Remember, that's going to be chrome, and I want it really reflective, so I'm going to paint that white again, really white. You can paint it any color you want, but I want their true reflective chrome look so white is what you'll need to do it's the most reflective color or you can create the most reflection from a chrome finish on white paint okay okay there we go okay so if I removed real quick if I removed them stripes I've still got what I just painted that white okay but always make sure you're working in your correct layer I'm still working on this chrome so I'm gonna grab my paint bucket and I'm going to come over here and just fill that in. Okay. I'm going to hit control and scroll back out. All right. Very well. So, uh, let's, let's paint the, let's paint our entire truck. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, green. A green color. A green color. Why not? No, that could get confusion because we need to use green on the spec map. So hang on, disregard that. Let's just go um, an orange color. Why not? I'm just going to paint this entire. I could have painted the base layer if I wanted to, but I like to work in layers. So what I'm going to do is create another one and just call this my main paint. Okay, and we're going to paint this entire truck that ugly orange color. Okay. All right, that's it. Now, of course, there's a lot more you can paint, like the roll bar color, pit box colors, logos, all this. And we'll add a logo here in a second. All right, I'm going to cut off the number block locations. Okay. And then we're going to go add a logo on top of that hood. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go image. I'm going to rotate clockwise 90 degrees. That's going to bring up the truck facing downward. One thing to remember, if you'll remember, the, 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 the file opened with the truck facing right. Always remember that because that's the way you've got to upload it. I have uploaded them before with the truck facing backwards and the paint will be backwards and it looks horrible. Okay, so always upload and save. Save and upload with your truck or car facing the correct way. So again, let me go back here and go clockwise. We're going to put a logo here on the hood. So let me go in here, open up back to my iRacing paints and find a logo. Um, we're going to put the Flying Aces logo on it right here. Right here. Okay. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back into my truck. And on top of all this... I'm going to create a logos layer. Rename it here with the wrench. Logos. Okay. Control. Zoom in. I'm going to go here and paste. Okay. That would look really bad if I left it like that. So I'm going to resize it. What I, hold, what I do is hold shift. 
grab a corner of it and it keeps it proportional you can also use control but it loses um, it gets disproportional so again shift and do this and I'm just gonna leave it like that right there all right beauty is not our end goal here for this truck it's not gonna be a pretty truck all right so it, I've got this logo on the logos layer I'll go edit and deselect all right image counterclockwise now we have it back to where we wanted it okay all right so now that's what our truck's going to look like okay let me show you let me show you i'm going to i'm going to uh i've already got i racing uploaded okay so let me go find it right quick and i'm going to show you what the truck looks like now with nothing on it i've got it uploaded and hang on just a second Hang on just a second. Let me minimize all this. Okay. All right, that's the right screen. Let me. Here's iRacing. All right. Uh, let's see. There we go. There is our truck with iRacing's default uh, logos on it. Okay. So I already have it uploaded. I do not have, hear me clearly here, you cannot have Trading Paints program running right now. The website's okay, but the program itself, do not run. Do not run. All right? So let me go back here to my right screen, and let me minimize iRacing. If I can find, there we go. Okay. Back to my right screen. We'll go back into our paint. This is what the truck will become. Remember what it looked like before. Okay. Now, we have finished our paint. That's what. That's my dream truck right there. I want that truck to... That's what I want. Okay, I've worked three hours on this truck, and I've got everything I want on it. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is come up to File, and I'm going to go Save As. Okay, and I'm going to save this... Uh, in my templates no I'll save it in my iRacing paints uh, under this tutorial car folder all right and I'm gonna call this tutorial truck and I'm gonna save it as a TGA a targa file dot TGA all right into a folder I've created called tutorial car you can name it whatever you want but I have saved that in there and this, I have to flatten it. Okay? So now I have my truck saved. Okay? Now, what I want, I'm going to first thing do this, just hit undo, and it brings it back into that PSD file. It turns it because we still want to work with the spec layer in a minute. Now, what we want to do, we want to see what this looks like on our truck. Okay? So I open up my files. And where did I just save that to? Is what you got to remember. I have mine in iRacing Paints, Tutorial Car, all right, Tutorial Truck. Okay. What I'm going to do is copy this, and I'm going to go put it in my iRacing folder. You'll find that in your Documents. Should be under iRacing in your Paint folder, and you've got to find which car you're working with in all these folders. I know mine is a. It's called Stock Car. Let me find it here. Stock car. Oh, excuse me, trucks. I'm, I'm not uh, thinking straight. It's under Trucks Tundra 2015. This is the Toyota Tundra. Now, I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay? Now, here's where some some uh, questions arise. How do I... I've had so many messages. I uploaded a video yesterday and I've had so many messages. How do I get this to... Anyway, listen. Rename this file inside of your iRacing paint folder rename this file car underscore and whatever your user ID is mine is 267 936 car underscore and then whatever your user ID is okay now we can close that out 
I can I'm gonna minimize this we're gonna go back into iRacing okay and we're gonna see that paint scheme pop up on this truck okay give me one second let me pull up iRacing all right you're gonna hit control R control refresh look at that there is your new paint scheme there's your new paint scheme all right uh, control F12 will bring up your camera functions and we're gonna go around and look at this beauty all right, there's our box we painted there's the logo we've painted all right here is the uh, two boxes we've put on that truck and that is not a, a matte finish and that is certainly not a chrome finish and that's our end goal correct all right that remember that's our end goal but that's our truck right now okay let's go back into paint.net let me minimize eye racing all right there's paint.net. Now, I asked you a few minutes ago to undo after we saved it as a TGA file. So we st we're back in the PSD file. All right, now let's go put a spec map on this baby. Here's where a lot of people get lost. All right. So remember, we said that we want that white paint to be chrome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come back down here. There's my chrome layer. I can hold shift excuse me you need to go get your magic wand over here right here magic wand I'm gonna hold shift and because I have chrome selected over here my layer I'm gonna select everything on that layer all right and that's my chrome paint all right with that highlighted I'm gonna scroll up here to the top now we're gonna start working on our spec maps I want to turn on some parts if you'll notice some watch these black things pop up over some parts of the truck that means you can't touch them all right, here's some more parts. I don't know if you could see it, but anyway. Then we're going to come to this. That is our spec map. It's black. Okay, before we go any further. Black, if you paint something black, if I painted, painted these black highlighted boxes right now, it would, it, would, it would remain white on that truck, meaning the black on the spec map allows no changes onto the truck or car. If I wanted that white paint that I'm going to make chrome eventually, if I decided I wanted to make that matte finished, I would paint it green. And if I want it chrome, which I do, I'm going to paint this red. Okay, remember, we're painting a layer over top of our original. This spec layer is a finish over top of our original paint. Okay, again... This is going to be my chrome. I've already designed it and set it up for this to become chrome. So with my base paint spec layer here, heck, we can we can rename this spec layer. Let's just do that for the purpose of the discussion. We're going to call that spec layer. Okay. I'm going to make this chrome by painting it red. All right. 255 is the max. Okay, now if I wanted it a, a a duller chrome, I would turn that down to like a burgundy. But I want it max reflection, so I want this all the way up on 255, a true 100% red color. All right, and what I'm going to do is grab my paintbrush. I'm going to make make this much larger, 250 font. And because I've got my spec layer, I'm painting this spec layer, and I've already got this highlighted. That's my white part of my original truck. I'm going to paint this red. Okay? I'm going to paint that red. All right, and I'm going to edit, and I'm going to or deselect. Okay? Now, we're going to go check this out on our truck. I'm going to go File. I'm going to save this as a TGA, a Targa file. But instead, I'm going to call this my spec the spec layer to my tutorial truck okay and I'm saving this in my uh, original paint folder it's gonna ask me to flatten it sure All right, I'm gonna hit undo because I'm gonna come back and paint more on it but for right now if we go look if we go look where I've saved my paints my paint work here's that tutorial car folder there is now my spec tutorial truck 
I'm going to copy this, and now I'm going to make it talk to iRacing. So I've got to go throw it into an iRacing folder. So I'm going to go back to Documents, iRacing, Paint Folder. Here's my Tundra folder, Trucks Tundra 2015. And I'm going to paste this. Surely, because I've already renamed my, my original TGA, I need to rename this spec map as well. I'm going to rename it car underscore spec and then my user ID number, which is 267936. Okay? And that's all you got to do. Let's go look now back in iRacing. We'll refresh it and see what we can come up with, what it, what it looks like now. Let me open up. Uh, there we go. Now, if I hit, if I hit Control, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. Because I've uploaded, it's not. I've not hit refresh yet. When I do that, when I hit Control R, you should see this white part become a clear reflective chrome. So I'm gonna hit Control and R, and my spec map. There it is. Or spec layer. Okay. So you can see how truly chrome that is. That's 100% chrome, chromed look. All right, now, this decal up here on the top does not look very good. We would all agree with that. It's because it, it's underneath the spec map. We're going to have to go back into our paint.net and bring that that logo to the top of that. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But again, you can see the chrome, very reflective. That's what we were after, right? That's what we were after. Okay. So let's go back into our our uh, painting. Let's go back into our. Let me minimize eye racing. Okay. Let me pull this up over here. There we go. Now, so that's red. And remember, we wanted that. First thing we need to do is deselect our spec layer. So we're back on our original paint. We want to make this black a matte finish. So I've already titled that matte finish. Okay, so I want to select it with my magic wand. Okay, I'm going to make that whole strip right there a matte finish. So we're going to go back up to our spec layer. Turn that back on. You'll notice it's still highlighted. Remember now, if you want it to be matte, it's got to be a green color. Okay. And the green, R stands for red. Green is represented by G. And then black, I think that's black, is the B. Okay. But we're going to work only in green here. This is what gives us the matte finish on the spec layer. All right. I'm going to using my photo bucket, or not photo, but my paint bucket, and just paint that whole thing green. Okay? And we'll edit, and we'll deselect. And that's what my spec layer looks like now. But I've got to save it. File, save as. Just remember, it's a TGA file. Yes, the, the, I'll override that. Okay. And we've still got to go add it back to iRacing. So I've got to go back. And it's a lengthy process. But here is my new. I'm going to copy that. Okay. That's my new one because now I have that matte green bar on it down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go back into Documents. iRacing. Paint. And find my Tundra folder. Okay. And I'm going to paste that. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, and I'm going to rename this again. Car. Spec. And then 267936. Okay. Now, let's, let's pause for a moment. If you'll notice, there's three files in my folder now. I did not create that MIP file in the middle. I didn't create this. iRacing created that. Okay? iRacing created that. That's what you're going to upload to Trading Paints. That's where a lot of confusion has come from. iRacing automatically creates that for you. So you, that's what you're going to upload to Trading Paints here in just a minute or so. Okay. But I've got a new spec map now. Let's go back to iRacing. Let's go look at our truck. Okay, let me, here we go. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. And we're going to look at this black layer. 
Oops, wrong one. Okay, you can see it's somewhat shiny. Now, what I'm going to do is hit Control R and refresh that. And now that black is really flat. Okay, if you notice, it's really, really flat. Okay, there's no reflection. Oh, I went too far, sorry. There's no reflection on this black layer. All right, you see the complete opposite of that down here on the bottom, and that's the chrome layer. But up here is complete opposite, and that is flat black. Okay? You can, you can see the shine on our lines, our red lines. There is a lot of reflection on that. That's our normal paint, and same way with this ugly orange paint. There's some reflection here, but there is no reflection on this matte black. Okay? All right. Let's pull this back out. Now let's go up here and look at the hood from an aerial view, a top view. You notice that Flying Aces logo is underneath this chrome layer. So it's kind of stuck under there and it really doesn't show up very well. Let's go fix that. Let's go fix that. So I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to minimize eye racing. And we're going to pull this back up right here. Okay. We'll undo and we'll go back to the PSD file. All right. I'm going to cut off my spec layer. So we don't want to work with it right now. We want to get that, that logo. And remember, I created a layer that said logos. Now, the more logos you have on it, the more you've got to do this. But what I'm going to do is select this logo. So I will get my magic wand. I'll hold shift. And most of that is highlighted. Okay. You can scroll in a little more, hit control. And then click these other parts. That's less work you have to do on the spec map. Okay. Uh, you know, you can go here and select all that is that is not already selected. That, again, that's less work you got to do here in a minute. But uh, okay. Now, if you'll notice, I've got my logo, most of it highlighted. So I'm gonna go back to my spec layer. Turn that baby on, and that's what it looks like. Now, if you'll remember, I said that red is chrome, green is matte, and black is nothing. You know, it doesn't allow anything to come through. So I'm going to paint this logo black. I'm going to go right here. And I've got my paintbrush selected, and I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to deselect. And we're going to zoom in a little bit, and you'll notice there's still a lot of red specks in this logo. If you don't paint those black, that's going to show through and not look very good. So I'm going to get a smaller paintbrush up here, probably about 15 point font. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm just going to go through here and paint all that black. Because I don't want anything showing through. I don't want any chrome showing through this logo. It's probably a little too big to get around his hand. So let's go back right here. There we go. And look, if I painted any of this red over here, black, it wouldn't be chrome. It would, it would, it would look really bad. So there's a lot of, a lot of time. If you're going to paint cars, this artwork takes time. And this is the finer detail. Some of your better painters on, on uh, trading paints, very detailed, very detailed work. And some cars just don't look very good because the uh, the painters don't put a lot of effort into it. They just throw stuff up, and you know your better better paint schemes are better for that reason. Painters take time. Okay, let me get a little smaller and get these corners. Okay, there's a little spot. Okay. Okay. Now that is my spec layer. Again, the red's chrome. Green is matte, and this black right here, I don't, that's going to cover up my Flying Aces logo. Okay, so again, I've got to go File. I want to save this as a TGA again. It's still my spec tutorial truck. Save that as, okay. And that will flatten that. Okay, I'm going to go back into my files. Let me go back into my desktop, my iRacing paints. 
my tutorial car there's my spec layer I just finished painting so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go put it back in my documents my paint back in my tundra folder and I'm going to paste that I can delete this one because it's this is a newer version of what I'd already painted okay and I'm gonna rename car underscore spec then my user ID number 267936 okay exit out of that we're gonna go back into iRacing and see how this turned out okay all right now we're gonna hit control R control R and you'll notice that flying aces logo is now on top of the chrome layer okay now it doesn't look very good because I've got it running throughout the contours of the truck but nonetheless you, you see how that works uh, getting in a little bit closer here you can see the flying aces logo on top now I, I painted it black meaning I didn't let any reflective light come through Now I am on that chrome layer I'm letting all that reflection come through but on that logo I am not okay over here's on the side we have chrome we have matte and then up here on the hood so that is our end product of what we wanted all right so that was a fun successful paint all right now it's time to let the world see my work only i'm seeing the work right now right only i'm seeing it you and me we're the only ones seeing this now let's go put it on trading paints and let everybody on iRacing use our paint scheme before we go any further you see i am sitting in that truck when you are doing this make sure that your driver is sitting in the truck or car all right if you're out of the car and hit control R, it doesn't work so you have to be what i did was before i came on air i drove down pit road turned around the front stretch here and uh just parked my truck here all right and i you know i can rewind this see that's me driving Now, if I let this play on, I eventually get out of the truck when I hit uh, when I hit escape or to get out of the truck. But you, the driver, have to be in it in order to work on your car like this. Okay. So that said, I'm gonna minimize eye racing. We're gonna go back over here. Okay. I should be able to um, uh, minimize that. Now, why is it important to sit in the truck? Why is it important to pull up eye racing as you're painting this? Because I already alluded to it, but this is where eye racing. Oops, wrong folder. I'm gonna go back into my documents, eye racing folder, my paint folder, and back into my tundra. This is where eye racing creates that MIP file. Okay, that MIP file. My dogs are going crazy. I think we have a visitor at home. But anyway. So what I've got here, renamed of course, I have my original work here on the left. That's our original paint scheme. Then we created our spec layer to go over top of our original paint scheme. And then iRacing, thank you very much, iRacing, creates what's known as the MIP file, M-I-P. And you'll notice it's car underscore spec, your user ID dot MIP. Okay? So we can X out of that. Now, let's go to trading paints. Let's go to trading paints. We've all been here to trading paints. All right, here's where we show off our work. We're going to upload. Okay. We're going to choose a paint file to share. This is your original, under your documents, iRacing, paint. Let's go find the truck. Hopefully it's alphabetized. It is. Should be right here. Yeah. Here's my Toyota Tundras, Trucks, Tundra 2015. You're going to upload the original TGA file. All right, there she goes. She's uploading. Okay. All right. Now, add a specular map or decal layer. All right, let's select a spec map from our device. Now, look here at the bottom. Accepted MIP from iRacing. This is where a lot of people get confused. Well, I'm in my paint trucks tundra 2015 folder through iRacing there's my MIP file and we're going to upload that she's ready okay now I'm not a trading paint pro member 
So I don't have like custom decals or anything, custom numbers or anything to upload or anything of that nature. So you go down here and you select, uh, I'm, I'm running the Gander Outdoors Toyota Tundra. I'm going to title it Tutorial Truck. Okay. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here in the description. I don't have a custom number. Now you do need a JPEG. All right. So what I have, what I've uh, started doing and really enjoy doing this, I'll go back here and I will load up iRacing. Okay. And then let me pull out my camera here. Whoop, wrong way. Okay. And what I like to do is use my snipping tool. You can't see it on the screen, but my snipping tool should pop up somewhere. Or you can go uh, control. Here's here's an easy way. Control print screen. Control print screen will do that. Uh, shoot. And go back. All right, I'm trying to work on two different screens. But anyway. That's how you, you you can use the snipping tool to create a JPEG, or you can go control print screen, go back into your paint editor, and uh, create a JPEG file to upload uh, into Trading Paints. Any JPEG will work. Now, some people use their phone to take snapshots of it. Um, you, you can create any JPEG you want, a picture of your truck to upload. Okay, so once you have that. Let me minimize iRacing again. Let me find... There we go. Minimize that. I'm just going to select a random ugly... You know what? What I'm going to do is... Here's an easy way to do it. You're going to copy. Paste this. Okay. Uh, actually, no. You're not going to be able to do it. You can't rename that as a JPEG. I'm sorry. In your paint editor, you could. You paint editors. What I'm going to do, I'll come back here. I'll go here. I will undo. I'm going to turn that off. Okay. And I'm going to file, save this as a JPEG. Okay. That's the easiest way to do it. And it'll be in my tutorial car folder under my personal iRacing paints. Save it here under JPEG. It'll ask me to flatten it. Sure. We'll go... Let's see, cancel. All right, so let's go select images from This is just uploading a picture of it. It's under on my desktop, my iRacing paints. Again, you can you can name this anything you want, but let me find the JPEG. Yeah, right there's the JPEG file, and that'll upload. And that's the picture everyone will see as they're scrolling through trading paints. Okay, now we're ready to add that paint to the showroom. Wow, we look at my masterpiece. You can choose to race this paint, add it to a collection. You can favorite your own work. But uh, nonetheless, that is how you upload it to Trading Paints. If you are new to Trading Paints, it's a program you download to your computer. you got to run it. Uh, when you get into iRacing, just open the program, and it will download all the paint schemes. Others are driving and whatnot. But, uh, you know, that is that. Uh, shoot, we'll, we'll go ahead and race the paint. We'll go ahead and race the paint. Okay. We'll go ahead and race the paint. And I'm going to go open my trading paints down here at the bottom. Let that run. All right, and then we'll go back into iRacing. Okay, I think we're good there. Now let's go uh, right here. Let me open iRacing back up. All right, that's an old version. It's trying to download. We'll hit Control R. Sometimes you have to go back into the truck, car, whatever, and just hit Test. And we're gonna go drive this baby around a little bit. And it may take a minute or so for it to finally download. You know, sometimes Trading Paints is finicky. I'm actually on the road course. So now it's all in Trading Paints' hands. If when it decides to download. It will show up on your truck. I'm hoping it does it here in the next 30 seconds or so. If not, then no big deal. Just give it time. It will upload eventually. All 
but as we take a couple laps here around the road course at Indianapolis this truck is no Ford GT or GTE or GT3 car I'll tell you that I'm gonna hit control R and try to refresh my paint as I'm driving I'm waiting on this thing to turn that ugly orange color that we painted it you know sometimes it takes you can run a full race and your trading paints won't uh, download sometimes it's almost instant but uh, nonetheless you get the point how to get your your car showing up after this lap I'll get out of the truck and do a little dirt trekking here while we're at it we'll go down here on the access road knock over a cone or two and probably get penalized yeah anyway now let's hop out and see if we can't get this thing to show up it may or may not the control F12 brings up your camera options we'll turn that around you know that's the default paint scheme that's uh, on my iRacing truck I like that dirt vision sponsorship but anyway you can always uh, close out your trading paints program and then try to open it back up and mine right now is downloading all right it's 80 percent let's say it refresh did it download uh may not i don't know we'll see come on pop up there let's see which skin it loads which livery it loads hmm anyway yeah, there we go okay you see it, it it turned yellow so let's get out of the truck now there we go uh hang on let me go turn it around because we only painted the right side of it i want to show what it looks like on the track all right let's fast forward Come on, fast forward. Or rewind, maybe. Well, I'm trying to find it to where I was. Uh... All right, here we go. There we go. And Control F12 brings up your camera options. We'll go over to this side. And that's how she looks. That is our beautiful truck we've painted and uploaded ladies and gents that's as clear as i can make it um please if you have any more questions i cannot answer them for you i've answered everything to the best of my knowledge uh, if i do keep getting questions on twitter uh, through youtube or anything like that, i'm going to refer you to this video uh, please take time to pause it and just follow the instructions uh, that's the easiest way I know to do it. There is more complex ways of doing it. Um, there's actually uh, easier ways of doing it. I went these in certain situations. I went the long way around, especially with saving the files and whatnot. But I went slowly, step by step, and uh, that is the easiest way to use a a photo editing piece of software to uh, paint your cars. And there you go. It works with Photoshop, GIMP. It works with uh, uh, Paint.net. So anyway, that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you hanging out. I hope you learned something. If you do stumble across something you cannot figure out, and maybe I skipped it and didn't address it in this video, let me know. I will try to take my time and steer you in the right direction. But uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for, uh, for watching. And I hope it helps you. Take care.